brachial plexus. What is the origin of brachial plexus? It is going to originate from the ventral rami of C5, C6, then C7, and then C8, and then T1. Brachial plexus will originate from C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. C5 and C6 will combine to form upper trunk, and then C8 and T1 will combine to form C8 and T1 will combine to form the lower trunk. And then C7 is the one which will just continue as your middle trunk here. So, mm -hmm. so in short, we can say that we are actually having three trunks here. Upper trunk is formed by C5 and C6. Lower trunk is formed by C8 and T1. And the middle trunk is just the continuation of C7. Okay. Now, all these three trunks will give rise to two, two divisions. So, there is anterior division and the posterior division. So, upper trunk will give rise to anterior division and the posterior. Middle trunk will give rise to anterior division and the posterior. And then the lower trunk will also give rise to anterior division and this is posterior here. Now, after this division, what will happen? They will combine together to form cords. The posterior division of upper trunk, middle trunk and the lower trunk will combine together to form posterior cord. Perfect. And then the anterior division of upper trunk and the middle trunk will combine to form lateral cord. And finally, the anterior division of lower trunk will continue as your medial cord. Oh, so how many cords do we have, sir? There is a posterior cord, then the lateral cord and medial cord, sir. Perfect. And all these cords are going to give rise to branches. Lateral cord will give rise to three branches and we remember with the mnemonic as LML. L for lateral pectoral nerve, M for musculocutaneous nerve and one more L stands for the lateral root of median nerve. Medial cord will give rise to five branches and we remember with the mnemonic is M4U. M for medial pectoral nerve and then one more M stands for medial root of median nerve and then we'll be having medial cutaneous nerve of arm and the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and then U stands for your ulnar nerves. Posterior cord for this we are going to remember the mnemonic as lunar. Lower subscapular nerve, upper subscapular nerve and then N stands for nerve to latissimus dorsi muscle which is also known as thoracodorsal nerve, A for axillary, R for radial nerve. So we know all these basics very well. Now, why I'm revising this quickly here, I want to concentrate mainly on the MCQs right now. So remember, you are going to get the branches from where? How many parts do you have in the brachial plexus? Totally five parts. There will be roots. Roots will combine to form trunks. Trunks will divide into division. Divisions will combine to form cords and cords will finally give you the branches. Out of all of them, remember, we are getting the branches from the cords, yes. We are also getting the branches from trunk. But the good news here is that only upper trunk will give the branches. It will be giving like two branches. One will be the suprascapular nerve. Another one will be nerve to subclavius. Suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavius. And we will also get the branches from roots also. From C5, there will be dorsal scapular. And then from C5 and then C6 and then C7, all of them will combine together to form long thoracic nerve which will be supplying to serratus anterior muscle that is your boxer's muscle so long thoracic nerve or nerve to serratus anterior or nerve of bell clear so from here we can say that we are going to get the branches from the roots from the trunk as well as the cords but there will be no branches from division already asked in the exam all of them will give the branches but divisions will not give any branches over there clear now what is going to happen if there is an injury here Injury to upper trunk will lead to herbs paralysis. Similarly, injury to lower trunk will lead to clumkies paralysis. And similarly, if there is an injury to long thoracic nerve, long thoracic nerve which is coming from C5, C6, C7, that will lead to winging of scapula. So let us see all of them one by one. In herbs paralysis, there will be injury to upper trunk of the brachial plexus.